Hi everyone, welcome to my shop, I'm Mech. So, um, a long while back, <clears throat> when I first started making some videos, I uh, got scolded by a couple of my viewers for uh, racking the vice jaws on my vice by putting something in one side and let you know hanging it out the uh, out, out the side and <clears throat> the other side didn't have anything to support the vice jaw um, didn't really seem to be much of a problem but I think technically they're correct so uh, I didn't have any machinist vices or excuse me machinist jacks that were small enough for that and rather than make a uh, jack that I would have to adjust for, this was for ER32 collet blocks, uh, rather than making a jack that I would have to adjust every time, I decided to just make some blocks that were the same dimensions as the collet blocks. So since that time I've acquired a uh, set of ER40 collets and collet blocks, and so I made up six jacks, or, or six collet jacks, I guess, that um, uh, support the vice jaws on the other side. So this is uh, just going to show you a real quick overview of uh, how I made them and uh, what they look like. Okay, so I've got the first block set up in the shaper here with my super fancy dancy chip guard. We'll see how this thing works. Um, before I get any comments on it, I realize that I don't have the shaper properly adjusted for the stroke length. It's taking a stroke that's way bigger than is needed, but I don't care. I don't, uh, I'm not in a hurry, and it's not going to affect anything uh, other than how long it takes to do it. So, let's get this started. Oh, I um, adjusted the down feed for 15 thou. Uh, for the first cleanup pass on this, and let's see how it looks with my freshly sharpened tool. Well, that was relatively light passes, but uh, so far, I'm pleased. Really as much a test of my, my chip shield here as it is of my uh, cutter, my cutting tool sharpening, and I think they both worked out okay, so I'm going to give this one uh, two thumbs up. Alright, let's get this block flipped around and finish the rest of the sides up. See what, uh, what we got here. Alright, so I've got the blocks all machined. Now I'm going to uh, chemical blue them. Pardon the noise in the background, that's the fan running to keep the heat circulating in the garage. So just going to uh, wipe it down real quick with a degreaser. This is just simple green. Try to avoid touching it. Okay, now it's wiped down. So I'm going to drop it in the container of acetone. Oops. 
sorry, bumped the camera. Get any remaining grease or anything off of it. Get a clean paper towel out. Take it out. Dry it off. Got to remember to close that lid, otherwise it'll be gone. Very important not to touch it now. Get it dry. It dries pretty quickly. And now we will just dunk it in the bottle of Jack's Chemical Bluing Compound. Give it a little swirl. And now we'll take it out. Take it inside, rinse it off with hot water. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, it's rinsed off. Try not to rub it too much. Rub that oxidation off. Try a little bit left. But I like to use hot water because it kind of just dries easier by itself without having to rub. Okay, now some oil. I find this Jack's chemical bluing works much better if you can fully submerge the part in it. It doesn't work quite as well as the brush on stuff. If you need to brush it on, I found the Brownells works better. But the Jacks, you get a gallon for about the same price that you pay for about eight ounces of the Brownells. And Jacks is made in my home state here, not too far, a couple hours away from me. So try to support them. All right, just going to let that sit for uh, 20 minutes or so. Come back, wipe off the excess, and then I'm going to let it sit overnight to just kind of, uh, you know, leave as much oil, evaporate, whatever, so it's not uh, wet. And then we'll uh, go to the laser engraver. All right, I'm going to do the rest of these offline. So here's the finished ER32 call it set, call it block set with uh, the vice blocks and the R8 call it adapter. Three D print didn't quite turn out the way I wanted. 
have to fine tune it a little bit. But I was pleased that everything fit the first time. So I might adjust it a little bit. Leaves quite a bit of wasted space. So please excuse the messy mill, but I wanted to uh, put a shot in showing how this works. So call it block fits there. Block fits there. And now hopefully I won't have people scolding me in the comments that I don't have that I am um, racking the vice jaws. Alright, well thanks for watching and take care.